I don't care what it takes. I want that fastness Pac-Man in every single arcade. Make it happen. Make it happen. You hold on a second. BBCI, how can I help you? Boy, sir, do I have an exciting new arcade game for you. Ooh, arcades are a thing now. Yes, sir, they are. And this new concept is called Cuber. Oh. Interesting. It's a little wordplay. What do you mean? He jumps on cubes, so he's cube earth. Get it? D do you get it? That. That's horrible. That's like really stupid. Oh, you just don't get the joke then. No, no. I get it. It's just bad. Oh, I guess it's just too smart of a joke. What's the game about? Well, I already told you. That's all he does is jump on cubes? And change the colors of the cube. How? Because he can. I mean, is it a power or something? I mean, if, that, if, that, if that's what you want to believe. So what is the purpose of this? To make all the cubes the same color. So that's it? Well, while dodging enemies. What kind of enemies? Well, you have Coily, who's a purple snake that bounces around all the cubes. Okay. Then you have Ugg and Wrongway, who travel on the underside of the blocks and then just walk off the edge. So they don't even land on the same sides of the cube as Qbert? No, but they can still get you though. And they just jump right off the edge. Yup, that's right. So the whole point is for them to walk on the wrong side of the cube and eventually plummet to their death? Well, that's what I'm going with. I guess. And then you have these enemies Slick and Sam that change the color of the cube back to their original color, making it a little harder for Cubers. Well, that definitely adds a challenge. Well, it's more of an inconvenience because as soon as you touch them, they die. You touch them and they die? Yup. So what happens when others touch you? You die. Then why do the other enemies die when you touch them? Because I said so. Fair enough. It is. So what are the levels like? Well, each level is made up of a pyramid of 28 cubes which you have to change all the colors to. Wait. Every level is the same? Pretty much. How many levels are there? Eh, around 40. There are 40 levels of the same thing? Oh, God, no. That'd be insane. Okay, good. Well, sometimes you can change the color on top of the cube. Sometimes you can change the whole color of the cube. And sometimes, every time you land on it, it changes the color, making it a little bit difficult. So they are the same, just with more steps? Well, yeah. So when does the game get fun? Who said anything about fun? Well, video games are supposed to be fun. Oh no, not this one. But this one is insanely addicting. Well, I guess being addicting is a good thing. Not really. Have you ever tried drugs? It's the 80s. Touche. So what is Qbert exactly? Well, he kind of... Uh, well, he sort of... Well, um... Uh, you know what? It'll, it, it'll be better if I drew it for you. Um... We're on the phone. He looks like that. We're on the phone. I can't see it. Oh, right. Yeah. Well, someone needs to create cameras for phones. Now you're starting to sound crazy. My bad. Let's keep the conversation light, not some crazy space technology. Yeah, no crazy technology. Only insane video game talk. Precisely. So how do you like my idea? Well, I feel like this will not age well, and this will more than likely be the only version of this game that we will ever see. Oh no, I have 11 more Cuber game ideas. What? What? Oh no sir, Halloween 3 will probably be the last movie that they make, or at least it should be. Oh hi, thanks for watching. We hope that you enjoyed it. Make sure that you like and share this video. And be sure to leave a comment in the section below telling us what games you want to see us do next. And make sure to follow Hapless Look and Games and More on Twitch and Facebook for some streaming content. And we'll see you next time. But yeah, they'd be crazy to make a Halloween movie after three.